Hey YouTube, here to finally show you guys my handbag collection. They are all around me. I had posted a picture on Instagram, on my Instagram stories of me getting them all out of the closet and <laughs> instantly regret it. <laughs> this is a lot of work. But I have ordered, um, I'm trying to reorganize my closet and I ordered some stuff from Amazon. So I figured let me take them all out anyway. And now is a good time to film. The baby is sleeping, so I have a bit of a window. I really wanted to go, you know, categorize them because um, I have bags in multiple, you know, colors, the same bag in multiple colors, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I want to get this done before the baby wakes up. So forgive me if it's all over the place, but I'm just going to grab what's around me, show it to you, and so let's get this started. Okay, um, I have been collecting handbags, handbags since I was 16 years old, and I still have those handbags. I rarely, rarely sell. I did sell some years back and I regret it to this day. Um, and so that's why I rarely sell because the bags I buy, I really love. And, um, you know, it is, a, it is a collection. I am kind of thinking of letting one or two go. I don't know. We'll see how this goes, but let's jump into it. First one I'm going to show you, I'm going to try to remember the names. Um, this is my coach Emery and I believe this is the taupe or the stone color, I believe, with the gold hardware. Love it to death. Um, wear it um, a lot. It's a great go-to bag because it's just easy to throw on and go and it fits a good amount so i don't think you can get these anymore probably on the pre-loved but um it does remind me of my hermes bag that i sold uh, my evelyn i believe it is um so this was a good buy and i love the <gasps> pebbled leather next up is my cassie i have two cassies from coach this is either the stone or the taupe i can't remember which color it is but it has the silver hardware i'm really a gold hardware girl but the silver with this color was just very very stunning and i wasn't a huge fan of the cassies it's just you know they're just they're just regular bags to me but um you guys probably have seen the video and if not all of these there's a bunch of videos on each of these bags that i've made that i that i have so you can go through my coach playlist um but um when i got her i got a strap to go with it that i loved and these bags are loved for a reason because they are also go-to bags and you can throw a lot in them and i love that they have um a top handle so it's easy to grab it out of the car this is my second cassie this is the granite color with that pewter hardware again there was a strap that i bought to go with this bag particularly um which is why i bought this one and um still i don't think i've worn this yet I don't think I have not worn this one yet, but we will get around to it. Then this is an oldie, but a goodie. I bought this years and years ago. This leather is uh, just scrumptious, just scrumptious. I don't remember the name of this bag, but the detail of it is amazing. I bought it from, um, I believe Lord and Taylor, the coach section of Lord and Taylor. And I just adore it. I just, you know, it's just so good and so buttery. And the reasons that I haven't bought, one of the reasons why I haven't bought that Bottega Veneta, I forget the name of that bag, but it looks just like this one, is because I have this one. And the leather on this is to die for. Oh, and the chocolate brown. And it's just, it's just so good. Um, you know, Coach, you know, you know, I'm a Coach girl. Coach, even my husband, when he was going through these bags, he was like, um, he was picking up the expensive ones, you know, the luxury ones. And he's like, this doesn't look any better than that. And, and, and of course, he doesn't know. <laughs> so, and he's saying this, the luxury doesn't look any better than that, the coach. And, you know, it's true. Coach is awesome. And I'm very glad I opened this because in there is my back. Um, but it just looks like that. Big cavernous hole. Love it. And it, I've obviously used it as a nesting doll, which I'm glad I'm going through this because I'm going to find bags that, you know, I was looking for. Um, this is the baby. I really wish this came in the large size. And at the time, tiny bags were in. I really wish I would have bought this one in the larger size. But I do get wear out of her. She is gorgeous. Love, love the leather. Also very, very old. And, you know, this is just coach craftsmanship. 
um, at work and it's just super, super gorgeous. Love this. Again, I don't remember the name of this, but love her. This is a super huge bag. Some of you may remember this. This is from Zara. Um, Zara had these bags years ago and they were such a hit. They were, I think, called the Leather Tote Shopper. They came in this ginormous size, which I actually found this on eBay a few years later. Um, and it's huge. It's huge. <laughs> and it's heavy. And it's full leather. It's got, you know, the great detailing on it. So let's see what's in here. So in there we have another nesting doll. It is the black version. I wore this bag to death when I first got it. I believe I did buy this from when the, when the it was in store. Um, super nice. It's just a nice tote, nice size. Um, and it's got the suede backing and it had like a pouch in there that you could put your stuff in. And then also it comes with a um, shoulder strap. I do love this bag. I st still have it because, you know, when I get a hankering, I'll wear it. And it's a smooth leather, still looks good. Um, these were great shopper totes from Zara. These two babies are the oldest bags that I own. This is my first coach bag ever that I got when I was 16 years old. As you can see, the leather is still um, super cool. It's vintage. It's the half moon um, bag. And I got it. My mother got it for me for my 16th birthday. Um, and it was from the coach store, you know, and this is old, old school coach. So still have it. Sometimes I wear it when I want, you know, with a dress in the summertime or something like that. And then I bought this one for myself at 17 years old. Um, and I'm never getting rid of these. I mean, they're, they're classics and they're, they hold huge sentimental value. Um, and it this has started me. Oh, so I can blame my mother because she's the one who started me on my coach slash luxury bag journey i have two faux bags in my collection one of them is this chanel bag which you cannot even really tell it's fake except for the chintzy little straps but i usually take those off when i wear the bag and then just use it by the top handle but it came with all of this i just loved the chanel graffiti it's great for traveling um i've had it for a while now and it's held out pretty good i think i got it from I offer one of those like weird websites where the seller disappears after you buy. Um, but yeah, it's a super cute tote. Um, and for a faux bag, it's lasted, you know, and it's still good. Um, and I could probably buy better chains to go with it. But um, yeah, it's just fun faux <laughs> Chanel. So here was that massive, uh, the first color um, that I showed you. It's just a huge um, cavernous hole. And um, it too came with a zippered inside pouch that attaches to the inside. And it comes with a sh um, short body strap. I mean, a short shoulder strap. Um, and it's just a good bag. I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. It's huge. It's a great piece of leather. Um, and uh, for travel or, you know, it's just super cool so yay to zara for selling these next up we have my mcm mini backpack i think this was called the bay bay boo or something like that i actually got this when it first came out in this color it's not sold in the u.s so i had to use one of those shipping mailing services to buy it from germany and ship it to me it took about like a month but i finally got it and then of course the states got this color but i do love the color and i love the backpack it is like one of those ones that came out when the louis vuitton mini backpack came out you can switch the straps and this was just a very a better option um price wise no one had it as well uh, it did the same thing i thought it was cuter and this is actually plated in i believe it's 18 karat gold <laughs> the um the canvas is thicker sorry if you hear that i just uh as the time i'm filming this I posted on Instagram my, um, you know, that I'm filming it and people are um, responding. So that's that. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a better a better option. And I think this was only 600, which is probably still 600. Um, but yeah, this is my MCM backpack. Great for wearing when you go to like, you know, amusement parks. Then we have the Alexander Wang Diego. I bought this from Shopbop when it, uh, these bags were all the rage. I love it. I still love it. This pebbled leather. I mean, this is a pebbled leather girl's dream. It was much lighter when I bought it. It was more like, 
this color but over the uh time it has since patinaed into this gorgeous color which i still love love the silver hardware this was on sale i think for like 500 um at you know on shop bob so it was like yay i'll grab that that's a steal it's actually it holds a lot and the inside is black so if you lose something in there you are going to be searching for days <laughs> but i do love it i do bring it out her out occasionally and she will always be my collection i just love alexander wang's um the pebbled leather on there on his bags fabulous along with that was is my rocco black studs this bag was so big back in the day and I bought it i loved it i wore it every single day for a year after i bought it bought it from Saks. it has it needs to be um i need to take it to like the leather spa to get um you know fixed because it, you can tell i wore it i mean the leather itself is good but the handles need to be rewrapped um this is coming apart here um and but i love this bag we'll never get rid of it it was a staple it's still a great black bag um it's heavy though this bag is heavy uh it is i think a little heavier let's see ah because i have bags in there okay so let's see what we have in there um we have this coach bag it is like one of those trio so one zip is that a credit card no one zip another zip sorry for the truck if you can hear that um, I forget what the name of this was, but it was um, the Baseman Collection. I actually bought this from the outlet. This is the outlet version, and it has a crossbody strap. Uh, super cute. Super cute bag. Um, I may end up giving this to a niece or something, but um, I like the mustard color. So. That's it for the Rocco, and there's a strap in there, and it's just, um, and it's nice and heavy. It's a heavy bag. I mean, these studs, these studs are serious. Anyone who's owned a Rocco, um or diego you know the deal the weight of those bags here is my little kurt geiger i love this bag this leather is softer than like okay this rivals this is as soft as my fendi bag and this little bag was i can't even it was like under was it under 200 dollars um this is my first kurt geiger it will not be my last because i wore this bag for a little bit after i got it and and can't stop touching it it's so soft um love the was that eagle head on the you know it's jeweled and then it's got the kirk geiger which i haven't even taken that off it'll come off on its own um and it's just double snapped um in there i added this this is like a coach chain but i added that because i didn't like the little chintzy strap that it came with um and it's a magnetic strap and it's just a super cute bag i need to wear her because I love this bag. So I have a um, Rogue collection video that has not changed. Um, I don't think it has. Um, so you guys can check that out on my Coach playlist. So as I grab them, I'm just going to show you the colors. Um, that video shows you all the, tells you all the details of each bag. This is the Rogue 3031 in dark denim with the goldenrod suede interior. Suffice it to say, love it this is my basqua collection uh beat i got this from a reseller love it a very beloved reseller <laughs> this person knows who they are um but um great great bag uh this is actually stitched in there thread really well made bag it has the chain and that's the inside and of course i put all my accoutrements on there but super cute beat bag love it another cutie that i picked up uh, fairly recently also have a video on this from the outlets uh haven't worn it yet uh beautiful t rose lock is what really um got me there's the inside i love the color i love the c's um cute top handle very ladylike i stole this off of another bag um but just thought that it match this really well so love this bag i think this is the bag that put a coach back on the map for some bizarre reason because for me coach was always on the map y'all just couldn't find y'all way there <laughs> um but um forgetting the name of this oh my goodness but again beautiful beautiful t rose um uh, lock there and it's just got 
awesome detail. This is actually snake skin. This is worn, woo, worn very well. And um, yeah, very pretty, also very ladylike. We have our gray rivets rogue in the 25 size. We have our maroon um, rogue in the 30, 31 size. I love this one to death. The color is so fabulous. We have our butterscotch rogue in the 30, 35 with that beautiful navy suede and then the uh, wine colored straps. Love it. We have my Riley, which I haven't worn in a while. I need to bring her out. But love this Riley, love the color blocking of her. She's a little annoying because this um, magnet is not at all strong. So when you wear her crossbody and you know, there's stuff in it, this likes to pop open, which is irritating. Um, so, but here she is. I don't know if I'm gonna sell some of these. Now that I'm going through them, I may sell some. I may, I don't know, I don't know. And she may be one to go, but we'll see. I don't know, I do love this bag though. It's so pretty. I'm lying, <laughs> I'm probably not selling anything. My black rogue with the rivets, love it. This is the 3031. It has that tea rose detail, so pretty. And the gold interior another favorite of mine. We have a Cassidy um, that is from the outlet. When I saw the puffy leather on this bag, look at the hearts, so cute. This came out around, I think it was 2018 or 2019 Valentine's Day. It's such a good bag um, and it was a good price and it went really quick and so many people wanted it, but the leather on this, oh, the puff, the puff. Super, super fun bag, which comes out, you guessed it, mostly in February. We've got my hologram a backpack from uh, Coach. Love that pebble leather, love the purple, so pretty. Um, and it's also a great bag to wear when you are going to like a theme park. Um, it does actually fit a good amount. In the vein of that color, I shall just bring out the cherry on top. And not because she's Coach, it's because she's the most expensive bag in my freaking collection. I mean, Coach. <laughs> Chanel. This is the only Chanel bag in my collection, which might be that way for a very long time. But I do love her. Um, of course, she is very unique. Um, that purple iridescent, it looks gray sometimes. It, it really is a beautiful bag. Um, I never thought I would own her. Um, I remember walking the streets and saw a girl in front of me with the smaller version and I, and I was like, oh, I would love that bag. And I happened to just walk in Saks and um, they were like, oh, that bag is hard to find. Got a phone call and they had this one. And this is the goat skin. I have a video on this, but look at that color. And I figured if I'm gonna own a Chanel bag, this is the one to own. It is the boy. This is the new medium. It's nice size. Um, it's a good size, so it fits a lot. And you know, at the price I paid for this, it might, it's vomitous. I don't think I'll ever spend that much money on a bag again, but she is mine and um, a nice thing to pass down to my, one, uh, my daughters and has the Chanel. Um, I would like a classic flap again, still in that maroon color, but we'll see if that happens because no one's paying the Chanel prices. It's not worth it. This bag is not worth what I paid for it. Um, and you know, I have videos explaining why I think that's the case, but uh, she is in my collection. She will stay in my collection as the queen because she is the most expensive one in my collection. Following that up with this little cutie, super cute uh, buttery scotch, but, uh, butter scotch, buttery <laughs> feeling bag from Coach. Um, I have not worn her yet, but she is simply adorable, simply adorable. Um, and I do love her. I love the little, just, how cute she is. This is super cute, super cute. I believe she's gonna come out in the fall because this is pumpkin-y goodness. We have our navy blue rivets rogue. Gorgeous, gorgeous, tea roses. Love her, love her. My Teddy Blake coach that was gifted to me by Teddy Blake. It is a great bag. Love the suede inside. Teddy Blake makes some fabulous bags and like coach, it's not expensive and they're all leather, um, Italian leather. Um, suede, 
attention to detail is all there and you're not paying ridiculous amounts of money for luxury. This is a luxurious bag to me, so. And then we have this Whomper of a bag. I just got this uh, for Christmas um, and Oh, I cannot wait for this winter time to wear. <laughs> this is a rogue tote. It's huge. Um, the European uh, coach got the smaller version. I'm like, I would have bought the smaller version if I if it was available here, but it's not. But this is all sorts of Sherlingly goodness, and I cannot wait to wear her. Here is another gem I recently picked up, and I cannot wait for the fall and winter to wear this. Oh, this is my Sherling beat. It is just gorgeousness. This was a last minute pickup. I was like, I think it was at Macy's. Someone had this on like stupid sale. Um, or was it the coach website? In which case, so, so glad I picked her up. This is a work of art. It is a beauty, an absolute beauty. Oh, she's so gorgeous and I cannot wait to wear her. Oh, that suede, the Sherling, the leather, I mean, Oh, coach did it you guys did it absolutely beautiful back we have my mango riley super cute i love the color of this bag oh and the leather um i've worn her and every time i've worn her i really i really enjoy it she comes with a very thick strap and um she's just really cool all leather bag um so i'm glad i bought this one this riley would definitely stay in my collection we have my, um, what is this called? What white is this called? Oh, I'm blanking right now. But we have this Rogue 25, also another gorgeous one with the different colors. Um, I need to wear her, I haven't worn her in a while, but this one is so gorgeous. Um, and this was this either, probably my second Rogue after the Fuchsia one. My Sophie Hume bag um, that I bought from Saks years ago. This one I would also consider selling. I haven't worn her in a while, mainly because I haven't been able to reach her up in my closet. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. I think um, this bag also was a huge, huge hit back in the day. Um, but we'll see. It's a good piece of leather. Um, I haven't made a decision on whether I'm giving up some bags or not. We'll have to see how the closet reorganization goes. But I think, I don't know. I love my bags. It's like I shouldn't be talking about selling them in front of them. We have the Coach Field Tote. Practical, very practical bag, very handy. Um, they still sell, I don't know if they sell this actual version, um, but they do still sell. There's a pouch in there, there's the strap. Um, I just love the, the like light pink color. Thinking of customiz customizing her with the strap and my initials, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, but great bag. This was a Coach and is it Rodart? Is it Rodart? Yes. Um, collab. All of these are leather sequins. Great pouch. I'm still figuring out how I can turn her into a crossbody. I'm not really a pouch girl, but I bought this off of a seller and I always wanted something from the Rodart collection. And this is actually a really big. I have a video on this. It fits a lot. Um, so I haven't worn her yet. I actually bought her as a keep all for this bag to go in here as a catch-all. This is my very beautiful, haven't worn yet either, um, double swagger from Coach in the apricot color. Absolutely gorgeous color. Awesome boss lady bag, um, but I just haven't worn her yet. She's also very heavy, and now I have to walk a few blocks to work, like 10. <laughs> um, but I'll get to wear her, probably in the fall. But yeah, I bought her to go in the back to just grab out when I'm going to lunch or something. Um, so yeah, those that, that's that pair. I have a bag of goodies here. Let's see what's in it. My Sherling collection. This is my Sherling um, Nolita. I can't remember the name of this. This was an insult. An, in per, uh, uh, this was a impulse buy. Got it from Saks. It was on sale. Not really. I don't know. if I mean, I like it. I just have so many bags. I'm like, why did I buy this? Uh, we'll see how I do in the fall. It is beautiful. Um, uh, I like the strap more. I think I bought it for the strap. But it's cute. If we go out, it's cute. Ignore me. We have the J-Lo collection that came out in the outlets uh, a few months ago. Um, oh, this is the Nolita. 
I, I don't remember the name, but um, super cute. I wore this a lot actually for errands back in the um, in the winter time. So she comes in quite handy when you're just running errands in the, in the winter. And I just think the shirling just, you know, when you're wearing sweats, it just looks cute. There's also this one that I also ran a lot of errands in in the winter time. Love it. It's a belt bag, but I use you know use it as a shoulder bag, and I love it. Very plush, very well made um, for the outlet. Um, so, yeah, we have our. Um, oh, this will be worn in this coming fall and winter as well. Uh, this is the Wild Beasts. I think this was the collab. Another Keith Haring? No, not Keith Haring. Baseman collab. I think it's the it's fur. My rogue, gorgeous. I haven't worn her yet. Um, I think this is my most expensive rogue. Never will get rid of her. It has black suede and pebbled handles. So she's going to be on huge rotation in the in the winter time. Miss Fuchsia Rogue, you know she's a fave. We'll never be going into ways. Love her. We have a bag full of goodies here. Let's see. This is a city, uh, city tote. Um, this came in a few colors. I got the neon green. I think it came in a neon pink as well. Got it for a really good price. I wore it to death. Um for traveling it's a great traveling bag in there we have a basement tote from the outlet i believe i use this to death to death as well as a baby bag for stella and tristan probably yeah so she was worn like every every day I have my very old gallery tote when the metallic phase was in Woo, that was a phase um she's very old she's very loved i wore her so much um she's retired now but i don't think i'll ever get rid of her it's such a pretty pink pretty pink bag <laughs> another bag full of goodies let's see what's in here a very old bag i bought when i went to italy uh florence their suede and leather was so freaking cheap oh um this i bought mainly because um you know sex in the city was a big thing back then and carrie had wore this big bow like this this right here on her um on a top she had and when i saw this hanging i was like oh, i love it uh, it's a full suede bag. I caught myself trying to DIY some studs on it one year. Um, but she, I can actually pop those studs off as they are popping off and take the, the glue off. But she's a good bag. I mean, this is this is leather. I mean, this is a suede bag. And I think I paid like 50 bucks for it in Florence. Um, so yeah, I may um, rehab this. For the, the color is gorgeous. You guys, there's a pattern here <laughs> with this color. I love this color. This is the color I want for my Chanel um, classic flap, if I could ever find one. Oh, my old little Fendi bag. I wore this to death as well back in the day on going out. Um, I should probably sell her. I don't really wear her now. But yeah, it's cute. It's cute you know, black bag. Um, and again, I wore her mainly for my clubbing days. Another bag influenced by uh, Miss Carrie Bradshaw of Sex in the City. She had one similar to this. And when I saw this in Saks, I was like, mm, even that blue, there's a blue lining in there. Let me see if I can get it to show. Look at that blue lining. Love this bag. She mainly comes out for dinner and date night and since I don't do either very often without kids, she doesn't come out at all. But she will never leave my collection. I love this bag. I see her on the resale sites every now and then. I think I paid $900 for this. Can you imagine that if they sold this now, the price of this now is like ridiculous. I love the baguettes. I uh, slept on them when I was young, when they weren't so expensive. I should have gotten another one. Um, but I did just get another one. I love this bag and I swear she is the same softness as that Kurt Geiger bag. <laughs> Go figure. Paid full price for this, but I love it. I would love the black one, which I would get because um, you can find the black one pre-loved. I couldn't find this color pre-loved um, and she's gorgeous. There's nothing else to say about her. Get a Fendi baguette if you want a Fendi baguette because she is worth it. She fits a ton of stuff, even though she's small but she does fit a good amount for the bag. I have a video, check it out. Then my newest acquisition is this beautiful girl from Coach. Uh, this is the Pillow Madison um, and she's just gorgeous. She is just absolutely gorgeous. And I think I may like the Pillow Madison more than the Pillow Daddy. It fits more. 
Um, and now that I converted the strap, I love her more and more because she is a dead ringer to the Chanel uh, 19, which I was toying with the idea of getting one. But now that I got this, <laughs> screw you, Chanel 19. Ain't nobody paying $5,000 for you. Gucci. She has been getting lots of love from me. This is the bag I reach for when I'm running errands after work on the weekends. She's super cute. So glad I bought this bag and she fits just what I need. My two phones, my six ring key holder, uh, my round key, and, and uh, my round key coin purse thingy and, um, and a card case. She is the mom. Love, this is the mini Gucci Ophidia. Keeping with Gucci, we've got my, I can't remember the name of this, but this is one of my first Gucci bags. I love her to death. She comes out in the summer, although she hasn't been out since the pandemic. I don't know if we're gonna wear her this summer. We'll see. But this is the, the blue and green uh, stripe, where this is the green and, um, and red stripe. What did I say? Blue and green? Oh my God. This is the blue and red stripe and this is the green and red stripe um so super cute and she fits a good amount for a little bag and she's nice and weighty and i love it my last gucci goodie is gucci marmont i bought her pre-loved love her love her love this bag i actually am toying with the idea of getting the black one in the larger version because i do love the gucci marmont i love a flat bag it's a flat bag and it's timeless and i just love the d the double g's it you know it you can dress it up you can dress it down and either way it'll make you look fabulous so love my gucci marmont especially in this color okay moving on we have my ysl lulus i have video on all three this is the concrete um color i bought and with that beautiful matte silver hardware i bought her pre-loved because you couldn't find her anywhere gorgeous bag love her i just wore her the other day and i'm just so in love with these bags and this is the medium size so this is the larger size pillow um pillow lulu Wait. this is the black version also bought her from a pre-loved site, Fashion File, but actually paid full price for her because she was new. And they didn't have this version in the store anymore. This is the crinkled leather. See the leather is crinkled, black on black hardware. Another favorite. I had to stop wearing her because I was wearing her too much and give my other bags a chance. I don't know what that is, but we will address that after I film. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Highly recommend the pillow um, Madison, uh, Pillow Madison. Someone asked me to do a video with the Pillow Madison, um, to this. I will, although I don't really think that they kind of, they're the same bag, um, other than them being soft, pillowy. Um, but that's coming. Here is the regular Lulu, and my, my lighting just changed. It's gotten cloudy, sorry. This is actually a green color. I don't know if you can see that with the gold hardware. This was my first Lulu that made me fall in love with the Lulus. This one is a little different on the inside, whereas the puffy Lulus are just big holes. This one actually has a divider. Um, so love this color. I bought this full price from, uh, actually it was on sale from, um, oh my God. I keep wanting to say fashion file, but it's not far farfetch. Farfetch. Okay, we're gonna start piling them up here because if you can see my floor right now, the ones I've just done are all around me and I'm running out of room. All right. This is my Teddy Blake suede beauty that I got. Um, this is Ava, I believe. I was gifted from Teddy Blake, another beauty that I need to wear more. This suede is absolutely fabulous. Um, there's a video on this, of course. Guys, you need to check out Teddy Blake. I mean, full suede, inside, outside. And if this was an Hermes bag, it would be upwards of $15,000. Of course, Teddy Blake, you'll get this for like four something. Super, super pretty. Teddy Blake back. Here is my MCM um, Mila tote. Love her. Haven't worn her in a minute. I need to bring her out. Love MCM too. MCM is another brand that doesn't get a lot of um, um, a lot of its due, but they're also a very good luxury brand for the price. Here is my Fendi Peekaboo that I got from the Real Real. Love it. 
Love the peekaboo. I like the old peekaboo because this slouches. The old new ones don't look like they'll ever slouch. Like, ever. You guys know what this is. Speedy 25. Bought this also either from the Real Real or Farfetch um, some years ago. And it's still in good condition. This bag is from 1996. And... I have to say, the old Louis Vuitton canvas, I mean, is like indestructible. We've got a little J. Crew cutie. I love the fur and the leather. It's so good. It's a little camera bag. Really cute. Really cute. See, I am an equal opportunity bag lover. You don't have to have a $3,000 price tag on a bag for you to be, you know, it or it on trend. Get something, anything that is made of quality material that looks good and you you know, you're good to go. My Mansier Gabrielle bag um, is just a bucket bag. I loved the color, the patent leather, and you know, Mansier Gabrielle, however you say the name, was huge for a minute there. And this is the one I chose. Love the color. I haven't worn her. I usually wear her in the spring. I need to bring this out. I cannot wait for my packages to arrive from Amazon so that I can do my closet, so that I can organize my bags so that I can see them, so that I can wear them. My coach goodie, another soft one. Oh, so soft, so soft. This is the Studio 19 or 18 with the beautiful chain strap. I've got my eye on another one and I'm hoping to God that they do not come out with the purple one, the dark purple and the dark green one that I'd originally wanted, that they originally said they were coming out that they never came out with. So I'm hoping they don't because I need to stop. This is ridiculous. My Dior, my Dior Eva, or Dior Revolution is Dior and it says Dior and it's fabulous. I will never get rid of this bag. Every time I wear this bag, this is one of the few bags that every single time I wear it, I, I enjoy it. It's just an enjoyable bag. That is the softest sweat. Look at that. That is the softest suede on any bag that I own. Whatever suede they used is fabulous. She's just gorgeous. We'll never get rid of her. So glad. I walked into the Dior store um, and I was looking for the belt that had this and then I saw her and I didn't have a navy bag at the time and she became mine. She was the second. Um, I believe this beats her. Actually, I think they're the same price. This might beat her out by a couple of hundred, but these are the second in line after Miss Chanel. First designer bag ever I bought, I think when I was either 18 or 19, my little Louis Vuitton, I thought I was it. And you know, I was going out in clubs and everyone had this bag. <laughs> um, um, yeah, this is the, I can never, petite, no, the accessoire. I can never remember the name of this, but this was my first designer. And it, look at it, the canvas back then is, there's nothing wrong with this bag. Even the patina is good. So, of course, I use this as a catch-all now. I'll put a thick black strap on it when I, you know, have the inkling and wear it as a crossbody. But you guys know, you guys know this bag. It's actually um, a great bag. I think they, did they discontinue this? So dumb. My T-Rose Rogue, which I am considering selling. This is one of the bags I think I might sell. I haven't worn her yet. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But there she is. We've got the catch-all 45. I should have bought the 40. I don't want to, you guys know what this looks like. I'm not going to, it's, it's been up in my closet for so long because we haven't traveled anywhere for so long. Um, I bought this from the Real Real. Um, I think I paid six for it. I, uh, you know how that do. I don't, I just saw that. I'm like, what the hell? But you know, it's a travel bag, you know, it does its job, but the patina doesn't really bother. That's, I mean, the stain, I don't know what that is. It kind of bothers me, but it doesn't. Um, it's a bag that has seen the world. And maybe I'll put a patch on it. Maybe I'll put some patches on it. But it does fold up really nicely in your closet. And if you don't have one, get one. Because when you're traveling, it just makes you look that much more chic. So, love the Louis Vuitton carryalls. It actually does fit a good amount. We have my Prada bag, which my husband looked and like. And he's like, this looks like a bag that you went to Dick's to get. I was like, see here, it's Prada. I bought this from Season 2 Consign. It is a consignment shop. Uh, they are on Instagram. Very cool ladies. Um, and it was a good price. And I didn't have, I don't have it. This is my only Prada bag. And I just thought, it, I love the blue. Prada never does like blue. And they always do those other ones that people get. And I'm like, why, why, 
why are we buying that bag? It's like really nothing special. I mean, from the mouth of my husband who says this is nothing special. But she's Prada. And I like that she comes with a very thick strap that says a Prada. Um, I haven't worn her in a little bit, but um, like some of these bags I bought, I was like, oh, I can use it as a baby bag. It's an excuse, but I like it. That's me. I think that's my Amazon order. You know, I wish I wouldn't ring the bell though, because it's like, don't ring the bell. I have a sleeping baby. Cute little belt bag I got from the um, outlet in the strawberry color, all leather. Um, so I thought that was a good purchase. My Chloe Marcy in gray. My Chloe Marcy in tan. My Coach Troop. Um, uh, I believe this is a part of the K facet line. It actually hit the outlet. Love it. So pretty. Um, so this is one. My Troop in stone. Also very beautiful. Love that pebbled leather. This is two. My Troop crossbody. K facet. It's just gorgeous. I mean, it's just a gorgeous bag. And it's so unique. So unique. I love the floral. And it's all leather. And I got this at a stunning, stunningly great price um, from Bloomingdale's. And it's just, I mean, listen to that. Gorgeous. That's three. We have the Troop Crossbody, I think this was called. Again, another unique bag beautiful from the cave facet line um i got this from a reseller on facebook for a stupidly good price because this bag is very hard to get uh come by and if i wanted to ever sell it i probably could sell it for much more which i never will i mean look at that this bag is gorgeous and i found this hiding in my closet when i took all this stuff down i need to get my life that's number four uh yeah four <laughs> I think that's all the troops I have. That's all the troops I have. We have the Emery in this natural, this is the embroidered uh, version in the natural leather. Love her. She's getting scuffed and biffed and stained and spotted, and she will be a perfectly good vintage bag pretty soon. Um, but good. I really wish I would have gotten a larger sized as well in that green, but you know, she's for a small bag. She owes, she holds quite a lot. So I love this. This was a good buy. Then we have my Molly in my K facet print. Beautiful. Um, one of my lovely ladies who um, are subscribed to my channel, I believe, and on Instagram saw this in a random consignment store and let me know. And I'm forever grateful because this is another one that is very hard to find that would sell for double what I paid. It's just a gorgeous bag. Have I worn this yet? I think I worn this once so far. Here is my other Marley that I took that uh, it took a while for me to find in this kelp, beautiful kelp green color. And I'm so glad I did find her. Love her to death. Um, it's gorgeous. The Marleys are a gorgeous, gorgeous bag and they need to bring them back. Super pretty. And now the last batch, finally. We have the second and last faux bag that I have in my collection that would used to stand up, but it was, when I got to it, it was all squenched. So I'm gonna have to stuff it to get its shape back, but it is my Gucci tote. I bought her again from iOffer. I'm gonna have to flatten her because she stood up really well. Um, and it is a leather bag. It is leather. Um, it's just not the $2,000 version. Um, but she looks pretty good for, not now, unfortunately. I gotta get this shape back. But when she was what she was supposed to be, she looks pretty good. You can't tell that it's not Gucci bag, a real Gucci bag. I have a Dreamer, very pretty ladylike bag. My husband got me this um, uh, a while ago. I haven't worn her in a little bit either, but she's very pretty. I love the scalloping and the detail, which is very pretty bag, um, so is my dreamer we've got miss pillow tabby in ivory miss pillow tabby in the bright green someone was commented is like it looks like christmas i'm like well it's lucky i like christmas because she's bright she's beautiful she's a kelly green um and i love it and this one is very hard to find this was like the first um color they came out with and they didn't come back they never brought this one back and i think it's perfect pop of green miss amazon green beautiful dark green miss black you can't you know can't go wrong with the black 
flat bag. Miss Teeny Tiny, silver on gold uh, pillow tabby. Super cute, I haven't worn her yet, but she's adorable. And the OGs, the regular tabbies, which are just great, great bags to wear. And the number one and last, but certainly not least, my OG original tabby. When I saw her in the store first, um, first time they came out with the tabbies, I was like, oh, I have to have her. And little did I know that the tabby would be a bag for me. <laughs> but I love her. She will never leave my collection. She's perfect to throw on and she fits a very good amount. So of course it was inevitable that I forgot one and I forgot one and this is my Dinky 19. I can't believe I forgot her. She was buried probably under all the bags but she is gorgeous. She is in I believe the linen color. She's very rare. That gorgeous sea chain which I don't understand why coach does not make by itself I had put some pins on her because I couldn't bring myself to pin the front of the flap so I put some pins on the inside it's an accordion style bag very impractical but I love it love that pink lining um yeah so my coach dinky 19 in the linen color she's gorgeous I love her so that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is my handbag collection. I don't know if I ever do this again because this was a lot of work, but someone was like, you must really love us, and I do. And you guys have been asking me for this for years. Well, not for years, but you know. Um, I do have another one that's old. I did it a while ago. Um, so my bag collection has changed. But yeah, this that was it they are you know i do enjoy my handbags and um we'll see if i get rid of any you'll be the first to know um put down in the comments below which one you would want me to sell <laughs> and maybe you don't know i know i i gotta get my closet together um clearly it's collection and no one can wear all these bags and some of them don't even get any love maybe once a year um but you know it's a collection so that's that it is what it is so i really hope you enjoyed if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and i will be talking to you in my next one take care